naman ay ganong pandemya, bagyo, anong pagsubok, tayo po ay makakabangon. At ang pagiging bayani natin ng mga Pilipino, hindi lamang tayo ay magbuhis ng ating buhay. Tumulong po tayo makabangon ng ating ekonomiya para tayo po ay consider na rin na mga bayani. Tayo rin po ay nananawagan sa ating mga kababayan at supportahan natin itong mga kababayan natin, itong mga MCP natin na nandito. So maraming maraming salamat po at isang magandang umaga po muli sa lahat. Alright, so kanina from Lazada, and I'm sure marami rin sa inyo na nagta-type in ng inyong mga comments na you were also an online shopper. Ayan, no? And na-discover natin na yung paano maging, na, na napakadali na ngayon, ayan, to shop from our own homes and do online payments. But sometimes I think we also need to know uh, the ins and outs and how we can protect our finances when paying online. Kasi eh, minsan yung iba takot yan, magbay magbayad ng electronically dahil nga baka biglang mag-disappear yung pera nila, hindi pumasok, hindi maibalik, ayan. So to assist us with his talk on online payment services, please welcome the Head of Aggregator Partnerships and AVP of Gcash Mint, Globe Fintech Innovations, Incorporated, Mr. Justin Paul Yap. Welcome, sir. Well, uh, thank you and uh, good morning sa lahat ng nanonood natin uh, for this uh, virtual national trade fair. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. So uh, to continue, no, as mentioned nga earlier, we'll be discussing a bit about yung how online payments could happen. No? Uh, ito sa new normal natin, this uh, has been a something that has been deemed crucial. Uh, kung si Petrus kanina of Lazada was talking about how selling can happen, no? uh, of course, sales do not happen without payments no it's the part of the economic process natin kumbaga so allow me to share na yung presentation ko in a bit okay ayan so this deals more about business since uh, yung in relation to, uh, payments in relation to businesses whether formal or on the way to being a formal business kayo so gcash will uh, has a suite of solutions that are available for yung mga businesses natin or mga enterprising na, na mga kababayan natin ano to start but to start off let me first uh, give a brief background kung meron pang natitirang hindi familiar with GCash no uh, let's give a, a brief uh, run through on how GCash accounts work no so GCash is the number one e-wallet provider in the Philippines no we have currently around 300, uh, 33 million customers na 75,000 or 75,000 QR merchants, 32,000 cash in points and 400 plus na partner billers. So this mostly represented by the GCash app, the best visual representation ng kung ano yung GCash account mo is via the app, no? So nakikita ho natin andun yung pera na tinatago natin sa ating e-wallet. No? And then sa baba, ito yung mga features na pwede mong gawin with your GCash account. So some of them na i-highlight natin is one of those is buy load. So pwede tayong bumili ng load, ibabawas lang sa ating uh, balance. Paying your bills, no? Meralco, yung sa tubig natin, internet, etc. Uh, some schools are also biller partners, so makikita niyo din sila sa pay bills menu. Pwede nating bayaran uh, using our phone. No, and of course, kukunin nung natin ulit sa balance yung pinagbayad natin, no. Send money, sending money from one GCash account to another or sending money from your GCash to a bank account, no. So 
kung may papadalan ka ng pera, whether it's payment or binigay mo or binayad mong utang, etc. There's that option of sending money. Shopping online, so uh, some of our features also nakadirect na rin sa mga partners namin. Lazada, halimbawa. So, kung, kung i-relate natin sa topic kanina, diba, it's not just people logging on to Lazada na nakakita ng ano, kung mga seller kayo dyan. Pag nag-log in sila sa Gcash, may direct portal din kami to that partner. Scan QR naman is when you are using, yung kung napansin nyo dati, nung medyo free pa tayo makagala-gala sa mga malls, restaurants, outside establishments, may mga QR code na nakatatak yung Gcash. This is what that feature is for pag iniskan mo yung QR which we'll get into detail a little bit more no uh, a little bit more detail later pag iniskan mo yung QR mangyayari yung payment no uh, so some other notes to na kailangan tandaan with with GCash accounts your account number is tied to your mobile number no any network so 0917 etc etc yan yung unique identifier ng account mo no Funding your wallet. So, paano mo lalagyan ng pera yung wallet mo? Pwede mo siyang i-link to some of your bank accounts. no? Pwede kang pumunta to offline partners like SM, Villarica, mga pawn shop, no? mga malls, no? mga convenience stores. Pwede tayo pumunta doon. Sasabihin, ay, magde-deposit or magka-cash in ako sa GCash account ko. And may varying processes pero same result. no? Papasok yung pera sa inyong wallet. Kasi hindi na siya papel, digital na siya. Of course, most of your transactions are gagamitin yung balance mo. Nagpapadala ka ng pera, magbabayad ka ng bills, bibili ka ng load, or may babayaran ka sa isang QR merchant. Lahat ng transaction natin may SMS notification or text notification na magiging record. So, di ba, kung i-compare natin yung, yung bank account no, uh, to a Gcash wallet, yung inbox mo, parang passbook mo na rin yun. Everything you do, uh, with your GCash account, may, may counterpart yan na SMS notification para if you need to backtrack, no, makikita mo, saan ba napunta pera ko? Sino ba pinagbayaran ko, pinagpadalhan ko, etc. No? So, there's an SMS notification and if medyo magulo na yan, meron din summarized transaction report na pwede natin i-request at that, makikuha natin via email. So yun, as a first mover in providing financial innovations, meron din tayong suite of financial services na tinatawag. So there's a savings uh, account na pwede nating ma-access through our GCash account. No? Uh, it has the highest interest rate of up to 4%. No? So kung i-compare mo to the other savings uh, tools out there, isa siya sa pinakamataas. There are investment programs and there's also scoring and credit. So depende on how you use or yung behavior mo on the app, eventually magkakaroon ka ng credit line na pwede mong gamitin to pay your bills or shop via QR or use sa payment links. And of course, there's also insurance na pwede mong bilhin on the app din and then you have certain terms of coverage for as low as 39 pesos. Ha. So for entrepreneurs dyan na wala pang insurance, no, that is... What, what, what we tell them is like, ito is to protect your number one asset, which is you, ikaw mismo, yung owner at gumagawa ng produkto. No? So that is protection for you guys then as well. So there are the widest reach and the largest partners. Na we've been through this naman kanina, 33 million customers. No? So nandito na tayo sa business solutions. Uh, and we'll focus more on the payments acceptance side no? uh, because this is the... The, the topic that has been invited for us today. Pero meron din tayong disbursements platform. What, what, the, what do we mean by disbursements platform? Ito siya is an access to a platform wherein pwede ka magpadala ng Gcash to multiple accounts, no? multiple Gcash accounts in just a few short steps. No? And of course, there's also a business solution na meron din kaming mga cash-in partner accreditation na Halimbawa, gusto natin yung business natin, may physical store, maging cash-in partner sa kanyang neighborhood, meron din tayong options na ganun. Sige, so going to payments acceptance. The main characteristics of GCash payments acceptance that are that we enable to our partner merchants. No? So you can accept payments that are cashless, no? contactless or remote. So hindi na kailangan na... Mag, magkalapit tayo for the payment to happen 
and secure. Maraming maraming mga features wherein only authorized personnel or or devices can access the funds na binabayad sa inyo, no? Or pinangbabayad niyo. So there are three types of uh, payments acceptance now available for the MSME sector, no? First is the merchant QR. And the second and third coming soon, really soon na mga, ditong February malalaunch na to, is the personal QR and the payment links. No? Ay. So ano yung QR na customer journey? So simple lang, no? Pag sinabi ni customer, uy, Gcash QR yung gagamitin ko sa pagbayad. Ipo-provide ni merchant yung QR na inisyo sa kanya ni Gcash. Isa-scan yan ni customer using yung kanyang phone. So pag pinindot mo yung yung scan QR sa inyong phone, i-access na yung camera tapos i-instruction na ka, please itutok mo yung camera at yung box dun sa QR na pinopresent sa iyo ng merchant. Tapos both Gcash, pag nag-push through na yung payment, no, both Gcash user and merchant will receive an SMS notification. So ito part ng customer experience. Ito nasa merchant notification na or sa SMS notification. Si customer makakatanggap, di ba? You have paid 1 peso to our QR demo or the QR demonstration wallet kasi demo wallet ito. Yung date, yung time ng transaction at yung bagong balance niya after na deduct na yung payment amount no si merchant makakatanggap din yung representative niya may issue ini issue si Gcash na phone doon matatanggap niya rin you have received 1 peso so nagma yung amount yung date nagma din and yung time no and of course there's a unique reference number for each transaction na nagma din so La, dalawa kayo, customer and merchant or cashier, no? you confirm that the same transaction happened. No? So, bayad ka na. Sa, pag pag naipon na yung mga transaction for the merchant side, no? real-time transfer to the merchant Gcash wallet. So, every time na magbayad yung customer ninyo, naiipon yan sa virtual wallet ng, ng, ng Gcash account, merchant account ninyo. And the next day, ililipat natin yan sa inyong nominated bank account no so doon sa virtual wallet uh, naipon siya for the day and then pag next banking day mapupunta siya sa bank account ninyo para i-withdraw niyo or issuehan niyo ng cheque yung supplier niyo etc magagamit niyo na yung funds no and every day may natatanggap si merchant na consolidated email report kung gaano man kadami yung the previous days transaction na dumaan ng Gcash QR niya makakatanggap siya ng summary report per branch or uh, and per area din depende sa nominations nila kung sino mga management uh, team nila yung makakatanggap ng report no okay so how does the model work so yung Gcash QR if you avail of this no nagcha-charge siya ng 2% na fee no or the merchant discount rate this is similar also to yung mga devices ng mga banks no pag nag uh, pag gumamit ka ng card swipe devices para makatanggap ng credit card payments, etc. So there's also that merchant discount rate. It is deducted upon sweeping of the funds from the mobile wallet to the nominated bank account. No? So konting flow illustration lang on the, on the QR side. So halimbawa, di ba, nagbayad ng gamit ng QR payments, no? Mapupunta yung amount, let's say example, 100 pesos. Mapupunta siya sa virtual wallet. On the next banking day, so halimbawa kung ngayon ka nagbayad, Monday na yan papasok. Kasi yun yung next banking day natin. No? Lahat ng naipon dito na funds, mapapasok sa inyong sa bank account ni merchant. Less na po yung 2% na fee na sinisingil ni Gcash. No? So dito sa virtual wallet, walang makaka-access niyan. Ano yung difference niyan dati, 'di ba? Kun yung kun yung lahat ng bayad nasa nasa kaha, no? E kung di pa nga POS, di pa siya cash register, open access doon. Si cashier, pwede niyang buksan, may mga may records din pero very vulnerable yung pera dito sa GCash payments, no? Walang makaka-access nito until such time na mapunta sa bank account 
ni merchant no and only then maraming safety features para ma-access din yung pera ng negosyo natin na nasa banko na so this is a really secure uh, system of payment no so nung nung pandemic medyo sumikat na rin yung QR hindi lang sa over the counter Uh, ginamit. Uh, kinailangan mag-adapt ng buong bansa. Uh, kinailangan din mag-adapt ng ating mga negosyante. So yung iba, pinost sa social media pag nag-shopping uh, o oh, paano babayaran? COD? Ay, may Gcash ba kayo? Bibigay na lang nila yung QR. Pwede mong scan over your screen. No? Then, of course, nung nag-relax uh, nag na konti yung mga quarantine rulings, nagkaroon tayo ng mga plastic barrier, so bumalik na sa counter din yung mga QR natin. Still contactless, a safer option kasi kahit di mo na kailangan lumapit sa barrier, pwede mo pa rin scan yung ating QR at makakapagbayad ka pa rin dun sa merchant na pinagbilhan mo. Then was another option no, na in-upgrade in natin yung app na pwede nang i-save yung QR ng mga suki mo sa gallery at every time may order in ka sa kanila, i-upload mo lang sa Gcash app yung QR at para na rin lang nag-scan ka. So kung dito sa ibang mode of payment dati, kailangan may another screen ka kasi yung camera mo nasa likod ng phone mo, ba diba? So hindi mo masascan yung QR pag na-display dun sa screen ng phone. Ngayon, Pwede mo na siyang i-download tapos uh, into your phone gallery or your picture gallery. Then i-upload mo na lang sa uh, sa GCash app at para ka na rin nag-scan, no? So ito mga ibang example lang kung paano inadapt ng ating mga kapwa negosyante yung QRs ni GCash during the pandemic, no? So sa mga delivery personnel, No, yung sa iba doon sa website nila with specific instructions kung paano bayaran, ano yung next step, saan mo ipapadala yung proof of payment, etc. no. So ginamit 'yan ng mga schools natin. Uh, yun, those are some of the examples. So how to onboard GCash, no? So for sole proprietors, meron tayong a list of seven requirements, no. Tatlo nito ay GCash requirements no meron kaming memorandum of agreement kung ano yung terms paano yung singilan no ano yung mga responsibilities as a user of the platform no of course yung mga details ninyo sa as a merchant ano yung pangalan ng inyong kumpanya etc yung mga kung marami kayong branches iniisa-isa din natin yan saan mapupunta yung perang binabayad sa branch na ito anong bank account no sinong manager dito sino makakatanggap ng reports etc Standard documents as a regulated body no, ng Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas, we are required that if you are uh, being accredited or allowed to use the, this powerful platform, kailangan i-insure namin na uh, yung legitimacy ng, ng business ninyo, yung identities ng mga taong nire-report natin, owner, etc. So, uh, of course, yung mga... The usual natin, DTI na Certificate of Recognition na okay, ikaw talaga yung authorized gumamit ng business name. no uh, BIR Certificate of Recognition. So yun, yun, yun yung mga government-issued uh, documents na hinihingi namin to verify the identity. For corporations naman as may konting difference in structure and documentation. No? So medyo mas marami-rami. Uh, same 3G cash requirements, mas marami lang laman. Kung yung iba, mas maraming branches. So mas, medyo marami-rami din tayong finifill upan. Uh, since hindi naman tao or ano si corporation, so may mga representative siya, authorized. So hinihingan lahat ng, ng nakapangalan as representative or corporate secretary, hinihingan natin ng valid ID, no? proof of bank account, So of course instead of DTI SEC naman yung accrediting body no sa government there are articles of incorporation notarized cert secretary certificate etc. So for those na na interested no how to onboard for GCash QR this is the email that we can reach out to uh, currently enterprise.telesupport at mint.xyz No, so Mint is the the brand name of the mother company of GCash. No, for those na medyo kaka start lang, hindi pa nakakapag document ng kompleto. We have a 
itong link na sa www.gcash.com slash payment solutions. No? Uh, we understand kasi na nitong quarantine period, medyo ibang papeles, hindi pa natin nalalakad. No? Uh, we have an option for you. Hindi siya, as, uh, hindi siya as powerful as the full-fledged na QR, but uh, could work for smaller transactions pa. No? Okay, coming soon. No? Sa kung for those of you na Gcash user and nakapag check out na ng latest app update, makikita nyo na dyan is yung personal QR. No? Uh, pwede ka na mag-generate ng QR using your Gcash app. So pag in-scan yan ng mga, ng mga gusto magbayad sa'yo or mag-send sa'yo ng pera, no? uh, it will work the same as kung nag-scan sila ng physical QR na pinakita natin kanina. No? So payments go directly to your Gcash subscriber wallet. No? Hindi siya doon sa virtual wallet. It eliminates yung wrong sending ng funds. Kasi alimbawa, there are times, di ba, hindi nakasave sa phone book natin yung papadala natin ng pera. Kasi nga, alimbawa, nakita lang natin sa social media, nagbebenta siya ng ganito, nagbayad ka, o namali ka ng type ng number. No? So medyo hassle na ipa-recover yung, yung amount. No? That's why we need to be very careful dun sa pag-encode. Pero ngayon na dahil may personal QR na at kung yun yung ginagamit ng seller na bibilhan natin, kailangan na lang natin iscan and the app does the rest no so mas mabababa talaga yung rate ng errors natin no also pag QR na yung gamit mo you can accept payments via your personal GCash account without having to reveal your mobile number no if you want to keep your number private pa and all communications limited to social media wherein na identify natin mas mas uh, mas may profile siya rather than just a num random number yung nagko-contact sa atin no you can mask your mobile number na but your GCash name will still uh, appear doon sa SMS notification kasi it's part of the identity na pag nagpadala tayo sa sa isang entity no kailangan yung registered and verified name niya lalabas pa rin so allow sa use of alternative display pero use yung QR ninyo pwede ninyong gamitin yung yung para shop name niyo especially pag mas maganda kung naka DTI registered yung ating business name de ba uh, so pwede mag-reflect noon para may branding pa rin na mas madaling tandaan de ba kasi like kung ire-recommend kayo ng customer ninyo ay Ano nga ba ulit pangalan? Di ba mas mahirap tandaan pa yung yung personal ninyo na pangalan. Pero pag business name, mas madali kang i-refer. Uy, hanapin mo sa Facebook si ganitong shop or ganyan na shop. No? Uh, of course, better pag na-register na ho, ni rin ho natin sa, sa DTI para tayo lang yung may license to use that name. At hindi tayo ma... ma hindi makuha yung identity natin ng mga... Uh, yung mga other entrepreneurs or like people na do not have good intentions no so very important to, for us to register okay so counting steps lang easy as 1 2 3 kung may gcash uh, account ka na no pupunta lang tayo sa send money na feature pag na-update na ito may lalabas na generate qr na button at magje-generate na ng uh, unique qr for for your personal account Another payment acceptance solution na coming soon is the payment links, no? So what does payment links do kung ikaw negosyante ka uh, mas mas advanced siya konti sa personal QR, no? You can have access to a portal once na onboard ka na ng GK as a GCash payment links merchant. Pupunta ka ng website na yon at pwede ka mag-generate ng link. So pag nag-generate ng link, pwede mo nang i-send yung link na ito. No? sa yung customer. Pag nag-click si customer dyan, makikita natin mamaya kung paano yung flow process. So, yung status ng mga link, matatrack natin sa isang dashboard doon pa rin sa portal. Alibawa, may limang link ka na pinadala kasi may limang orders ka. Iba-ibang amount yon kasi iba-ibang produkto, no? iba-ibang customer pinadalhan mo. May tracker yan. Nabayaran na ba? Unpaid pa rin ba? Nag-expire ba? etc. Okay, 
ilan sa limang link mo bayad na. May mga summary dyan at uh, malaking tulong as a, as a seller who wants to track all the payments. No? Malaking tulong sa atin yan eventually. And settlements can be executed on the dashboard as well. So lahat ng natanggap na paid na na links, pwede mo na yun isettle sa inyong bank account no? or chosen account once nag-decide kayo na ika-cash out mo na yung pera. So just a quick look at yung pag nag-click yung customer natin. So kailangan niya mag-fill up ng customer name, mobile number, email, and then nakikita niya yung payment summary. So description, payment, halimbawa, uh, ilalagay mo yung item, no? uh, yung amount, then may konting terms. Pag pay now, mapupunta siya sa screen na ito. So okay, anong gagamitin yung GCash account para magbayad? Lalagay niya yung number niya. Yung number na yan, papadala ng OTP para para ma-insure natin na yung nilagay mo talaga na GCash number mo is account mo. Hindi yung, let's say, account ng, ng kapatid mo. no So, pag nasa iyo yung SIM at yung account, that is always the preference. Ikaw lang naman makakatanggap ng OTP at yan yung i-input mo dito. After i-input mo yung OTP, another level of security, okay, dapat alam mo yung ikaw lang nakakaalam ng MPIN ng iyong GCash account. Okay, so second layer of security. And then, pipili ka. Babayaran ko ba to with the balance na laman ng GCash account ko? Or, uy, hindi pala ako nakapag-cash in. May credit line ako. Uutangin ko muna sandali and bayaran ko na lang in another time. No? So, pag nag na nagawa na yun ng customer, pipindutin niya na lang yung pay at magpo-push through na yung payment si merchant manu-notify na paid na yung that specific link that specific transaction and of course si si customer makakatanggap ng SMS notification ulit no you have paid si ganito na merchant kung anong registered merchant name niya doon sa aming system yun yung lalabas na, binay na binayaran natin na ano. So, etong payment links, uh, pretty soon, abangan nyo sa Facebook page ni Gcash, ilalunch namin kung saan website siya makikita at saan kayo makakapag-apply uh, para makapaggamit, magkaroon ng credentials to the Gcash payment links. No? Requirements are also the same dun sa pinakita ko kanina. Pag sole prop kayo, eto yung requirements. Pag... Uh, Corporation, ganito din. Now, so, um, kailangan nyo ba ng website? Hindi na. Kailangan nyo lang ng credentials to that website or username, password. No? So, that's it for all of the payment acceptance solutions na ino-offer ni Gcash currently and uh, coming soon. No? Uh, maraming salamat sa inyong time sa pakikinig and uh, I think we can proceed na rin eventually to the Q&A. All right. Yeah, no. So thank you, sir Justin, no, for giving us uh, talagang clear explanation on how this online payment system works. Ayan, uh, ito na yung mga katanungan from Bianca Arco. Uh, she said na going online and cashless has helped our business survive the pandemic. We have many requests from our customers to pay via Gcash on our website. Ayan. Masayang masaya siya. May happy face. Nice. When, will G when will Gcash integrate with payment payment gateways like Sendit or directly through Shopify slash Wix stores? Love your work. Keep it up. Ayan. Um, For Sendit, uh, I know that there's a team in talks with them para magkaroon ng integration. Uh, little bit more on the techie side. So medyo baka hindi ko talaga ma-explain fully. No? Pero alam ko ito something to do with yung paano yung system nila mag-usap sa system namin. Kasi, uh, but I know that there are talks with regards to that. Sa Shopee, parang hindi ko pa na meet yung team working on the Shopee. Ano, but I'm sure... Uh, because they are also one of the bigger platforms uh, there's there's some talks going on na din no um, for other aggregators uh, i've seen a list of uh, those that we have been in partner with na, na mga paynamics dragon pay etc so um, also shopify magento may mga options na din uh, about to be launched no na kung if you are on those platforms 
pretty soon may magkaka-integrations tayo on those ano. We 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 want to cover everything because our our philosophy naman in payments is that merchants would want to have all types of acceptance, no? Ah, uh, kumbaga uh, hindi tayo aayaw sa bayad, di ba? <laughs> so Siyempre. we want to enable that for everybody. And uh, sometimes it takes a little bit more time. Some people have their own parang accounting processes. Kailangan ibagay natin sa isa't isa. No? Uh, but uh, eventually, la, uh, darating din tayo dyan. No? Alright. From uh, Sir John Roland Tan. Ayan. Is Gcash really safe? Honestly, I have my Gcash pero di ako naglalagay ng substantial amount kasi natatakot ako baka bigla daw mawala. Kasi may ganun daw siyang narinig from Lalamove Partners nung nag-sideline siya before sa Lalamove. May insurance na daw po ba ang Gcash like sa banks na parang may PDIC? Ayan, if ever. Mm. So as an electronic wallet, no, uh, certain licenses uh, for for keeping your money in GCash. Sa PDIC, there is no P. Uh, I don't think there's a PDIC. Ano, the last time I checked, no. Uh, but if ililipat mo, there are two wallets kasi sa sa GCash, no. If ililipat mo siya sa GSave mo na wallet, yun PDIC covered yun. May extra ka lang na kailangan uh, gawin to to open up that uh, GSave wallet. Uh, the distinction is yun nga, uh, that's why yung G-Save wallet is my earning my interest earning capability because it's a more of a full-fledged bank account than just the regular na Gcash electronic wallet. In terms of nawawala na pera, there's a there's an there are numerous uh, nakikita natin na may nag feedback na ganun pero sometimes if you dig uh, deeper no uh, paminsan medyo napabayaan natin yung may counting security aspects din tayo ano nabigay natin yung pin or na access ng ibang tao nagpanggap na agent na no so always the the constant reminder is let's keep our m pin uh, and our otp pins uh, to ourselves no i limit natin yung access no always be wary of those na nagko-contact sa atin asking for uh, that type of information pangalan mo birthday mo tapos uh, so wag po natin ipamigay because uh, standard across the whole industry and even banks will tell you the same no uh, alagaan natin yung personal information one particular ano lang with GCash may meron tayong customer protect na amount na kung nawalan ka because of na, na defraud ka ng, is, ng ibang party uh, may certain qualifications and si Gcash yung magko-cover ng, ng nawalang amount no basta we we have determined na yun nga you fall under certain criteria na okay uh, ganito yung nangyari sa account niya nawala there was a glitch etc babalik naman yung account ah, yung amount na yun all right. so, so in terms of safety, I think uh, we can cover as much as we are able to with, with all the rules right now. Sir, when you, you said something about yung parang G, G cash save or something, G, G save, save. Mm -hmm. uh, do you, uh, meron ba yung additional cost if you want to open that? Uh, Wala. that, that uh, uh, it leads to a partner bank, CIMB bank. No? Uh, but dun ka na sa app mag, uh, magtatransak na rin. So Hihingi lang ulit ng certain requirements like a selfie, um, a picture ulit ng valid ID, kumbaga re-verification. And then pag na-openan ka na, pwede mo nang i-transfer-transfer lang from ano, from your Gcash wallet to your Gsave wallet. Ah, alright. So pwede. Pwede i-transfer. Yes. Pwede rin automatic na. Parang automatic. kung yung physical wallet mo, imaginein mo yes. dati, yeah. di ba? May, may secret pocket. <laughs> Diba, na uso yun dati na okay dito may tatago pa ako dito uh, pero yung regularly used ko na funds dito lang sa main pocket parang ganun ayan kaya nga tinawag na wallet ayun yes. so, gusto pa, so if you still want it to be really protected ayun ilagay mo dun sa bank ayan yung hmm, GSA sa GSA you All can right. put it in your bank without having to go to the physical bank. branch. No? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Ito naman. Si, from Mike Tan. Uh, hi. We cannot open Gcash in Play Store using Xiaomi smartphone. 
Is there another app to use? Hmm. Let me check lang because ano I, I use the same uh, Xiaomi Xiaomi na smartphone no mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I've been ano parang third second or third ko na rin na Xiaomi so nakaka open naman ako ng nakaka download naman ako nak nakakagamit naman ako ng GCash app siguro um we could go to the ano na lang no help.gcash.com para mas uh, makita natin baka may something specific na kailangan mo i-trigger para makapag-download ho kayo. Uh, in, in terms of uh, personal experience lang, no, uh, doon po push through naman sa, sa Xiaomi phone ko. No? Baka there's other factors, may, may na-lock ka dyan na, na settings or ano, no. Uh, our customer service team is more than capable naman of helping you out. All right. For siguro clarification lang para dun sa mga hindi pa klaro about Gcash. Sir, kailangan ba ng separate phone para dun lang, you know, para dun lang talaga yung mga Gcash transaction mangyari? Or kasi ah. meron pa siyang separate SIM o hindi naman? Even you can use your own personal phone. So, when you're using a personal QR, no? so dun lang siya sa personal phone mo. Uh, madidiretso or sa personal account mo. Pero if you have a merchant account, every QR we issue to you. May kasamang libreng uh, feature phone wherein ibibigay mo yan sa frontliner mo or sa cashier na para lahat ng payments na natatrack niya dun sa, sa phone na yun. No? Uh, mm -hmm. So every order, every QR na dineploy namin sa inyo. No? Kung let's say yung maliit mong store, tatlo yung counter, di ba? So, lahat ng counter, gusto mo lagyan ng GCash QR para kung may magbayad doon, doon na lang sila direct. So, so, lahat ng QR na yun, i-issuehan namin yun ng sariling uh, notification phone. Alright. Free, free of charge. Uh. Okay. Yan. So, klaro tayo doon. Ayan. Mm. Alright. Next, from Bell Uy, are there banks which we can nominate where there will be no charges from GCash or bank for the transfer transaction? Ah, if you are a GCash merchant, no? uh, di ba, in-illustrate natin kanina, pag napunta siya sa GCash virtual wallet, the next banking day, mapupunta sa bank. Free of charge ho yun. No? Uh, it's not like the transfer to bank na dito sa personal mo na GCash account. Hiwalay natin yung personal GCash account sa merchant account mo. No? Pag merchant account ka, inisyuhan ka ng, ng QR, ibang wallet yon. Hindi yon yung personal wallet mo. No? Kaya siniswip natin sa bank kasi doon mo na i-access yung funds na napupunta for your business. So, any bank na nasa list of partners namin when you apply, pwede mong inominate and then Lahat ng naiipon na payments dun sa GCash virtual merchant wallet ninyo, mapupunta sa banko na yun, free of charge. Sir, clarification lang. Kasi may nabanggit din na parang yung kanina dun sa presentation, parang may 2% fee ah, na yung... nababawas. Uh, ano po yun? Ano yung pagkakaiba nun dito sa uh, walang fee if it goes to your bank? Ah, yung merchant discount rate or yung 2% na fee is basically the the fee na for the whole service, no? Na deployan namin kayo ng QR. Uh, hindi mo siya ma-divide into the steps of na per per bank transaction may may fee na na ano. So, if you want to look at it as uh, the cost of being a the yung totality na ng being a GCash merchant, no? na yun nga to, for use of the scan to pay solution. So if if the merchant does not agree to the terms, uh, hindi siya i disable na siya yung yung pag-use niya ng ng GCash na payment solution or ng QR solution. No? So basically it's uh, parang overall fee na lang siya to to cover for your use of the solution. Kung, siguro you can think of it as a subscription fee. Kumbaga, na habang habang ginagamit mo palagi yung yung payments acceptance solution namin yun yung magiging charge for every transaction 
All right. So for every transaction, mm-hmm. for every transaction, all right, may two yes. percent. Okay. For mm-hmm. for using that. Uh, platform, parang gano'n. Yes. Uh-huh. Alright. So, kung okay. walang nagbayad using Gcash uh, for the month of ganito or for the day, wala, walang transaction fee na isisingil. No? Mm-hmm. Ganun siya. Alright. Alright. So, clarification na. Yung 2% na yon it's for using the platform, but there is no transaction fee if your money in Gcash will go to the bank. Tama? Mm-hmm. Alright. Mm-hmm. Alright, okay. Sabi ni, ikaw, continue, no? Yung kay Bill, Uy, I was charged out 2% service chi, service chi, service fee from my GCash for reaching the 8,000 pesos monthly limit for free mm. over-the-counter cash-ins. Paano daw po yun maiiwasan? Okay. okay, so yung over-the-counter cash-in kasi, so we have partners, no? Who will accept uh, cash-in services over-the-counter, no? So in in the old days uh, pag nag cash in ka sa isang partner so halimbawa uh, sa isang pawn shop or sa isang convenience store na partner namin libre yon dati walang walang charge eventually because of uh, some costs being incurred no napaisip si na nagka decision yung GCash na okay yung free cash in na lang na isa subsidize natin is up to 8000 pesos a month no kung sumobra ka na diyan then we'll start charging 2% no for you to ano kasi most of the charges na pupunta naman sa partner yan for them to keep up the service no yung mga uh, sir, cash yes sir clarify lang baka yung iba hindi nila alam ano po yung ibig sabihin ng cash in cash in is paglalagay natin ng pera sa ating GCash wallet, de ba? So alam mo, may hawak tayo na pera, ano yan, cash, papel. Gusto natin i-convert para maging GCash balance na siya. Pupunta tayo dun sa cash in partner, no? Sasabihin natin, "Oy, pa-cash in ako sa GCash ko, eto, 3,000." Halimbawa. So maya-maya magre-reflect na yung balance dun sa ano mo. It's a different term for ano, parang nagdeposito ka lang, but we're mm-hmm. Due to some, ano nga, on our license, we're not allowed to call it a deposit. Uh, uh, due to some terms in our banking license. Pero yun, cash in is basically kung i-compare mo, parang deposito sa iyong GCash wallet. Alright. So yun, uh, yung fee na yun para if you, parang namamahalan kayo dun sa 2% paglagpas mo ng 8,000. What is a free cash in is... Uh, Pag may bank account ka, let's say BPI, RCBC, and Union Bank, no? pag i-link mo yan sa GCash account mo, pwede ka mag-pull ng funds from those accounts to your GCash wallet, no charge. Alright, so it's best to do it electronically from your bank, from your yes. preferred bank, and then put the money electronically to your GCash wallet. Yes. Tama. Ayan. So, uh, kasi it, the arrangements with those institutions, wala namang charges. So, walang napapass on naman kay customer. Alright. So, yun. So, if you want to avoid that 2%, <coughs> electronically, just transfer it from your bank to your mm-hmm. GCash wallet. Alright. Yung ibang then, ano din, pag yung employer nila is a GCash, uh, yung disbursement partner, no? may, may GCash platform sila. So, yung iba yung sweldo nila, dumadaan na sa GCash. So, wala, wala rin ano doon. Wala rin charges doon. Alright. Ito naman, from uh, Pan O'Clock Enterprise. Paano po makukuha ulit yung pera na nawala noon? Dahil biglang nawala yung pera sa wallet. Well, I think medyo... We have to find out kung ano yung circumstances kung paano nawala no uh, and I think our help center has has a better process in ano yung yung suggestion ko dun sa app natin punta tayo ng help uh, menu and then may mga options dun na para ma-describe mo kung paano nawala yung yung pera and then we can we can send uh, like screenshots or uh, file a complaint form and then para ma-trace nila and i think if if we trace it and nakita natin na posible naman ibalik then then we will have that ano we will have that recovered naman kasi i think it's 
sa parang sa did, uh, comparing digital to physical naman no, 'di ba? Pag yung paper money mo na sunog or inanod ng tubig, then hindi <laughs> natin talaga ma-recover. But this one, if we can uh, relay yung circumstances kung paano natin nasabi na nawala yung pera, no? Then we can trace and uh, quite possibly baka ma-solid din naman natin pag nakita natin na recoverable naman yung amount. All right. All right. Ito naman from Sir Just <clears throat> Uh, hindi, from Vilma, <laughs> yeah. can we use GCash as payment gateway for our website? Ah, yun. So, we have partner na payment gateways na if you reach out to them and tell them na, or if currently may partner na kayo, you can ask them, uy, may, may GCash, kinikere nyo rin ba yung GCash? Kasi payment gateways, they carry a lot of, ano eh, pare credit cards, uh, yung nga other e-wallets no so uh, first advice ko sa iyo is to ask your current provider kung kung nagki-carry sila ng GCash or already partnered with GCash and sasabihin niyo lang okay how much does it cost for you to activate uh, the GCash option so dadagdag lang yan ng another payment option doon sa inyong ano sa inyong website And of course, doon sa email na sinend ko, you can also inquire there. Kung wala pa kayong partner, they can give you a list of partners na pwede niyong pagpilihan na mas bagay maging provider din niyo. And we will introduce you to those partners. Okay. Alright. Ito, ito, more of a comment yan from Ron Barbaza. Hoping daw that there will be G, G cash, G cash cash in Alpha Mart and Walter Mart supermarket branches. Ayan. Mm, cash in ba? Kung cash in, Alpha cash Mart in. is All supposed right. oh. to have G ano na. Cash cash in. Yeah, so Alpha Mart is supposed baka yung branch na malapit sa inyo hindi lang na enable pa. Uh, mm -hmm. what I know is marami na tayong Alpha Mart na nalagyan ng machine kung saan pwede yung i cash in yung yung physical cash isusubo yung parang baliktad na ATM di ba <laughs> susubo niyo yung bills niyo diyan i-input niyo yung GCash account number niyo at maya-maya mare-reflect na yung balance dun sa ano sa inyong GCash wallet so abangan na lang ho natin baka nagkataon i know may mga Alpha Mart branches nang na-deploy ng mga machines na yun Oh, yan. So pag bumisita kayo sa Alpha Mart, sabihin niyo, sabi ni Mr. Justin Yap na nalagyan na. <laughs> May mga machines na daw. All right. So yes, I, uh... I know you have lots of questions, but unfortunately, ayan naubos yung ating oras. Ayan. So again, once again, thank you Mr. Justin Yap for enlightening us about Uh, itong mga online payment system and how GCash work. Kasi lahat ngayon, no, para, oh, bayad ka, may GCash ka. Diba? So, yes. thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Sige. Thank you din sa DTI for having us. no And uh, it's always a pleasure to help uh, enlighten more our kababayans no? for, uh, for this new ano, of, of uh, cashless transactions and GCash. No? I will be leaving my email address sa chatroom din for those na hindi natin na-accommodate yung questions and try ko habulin mamaya no? uh, kung nasend nyo na. Maraming salamat po. Uh, wait, uh, wait lang sir, before you go, mag-photo op muna tayo and uh, before we do the photo op, uh, remember no, so ayan, uh, nandiyan na yung email address ni Sir Justin on the chat box, uh, kopyahin nyo na yan, kunan nyo ng picture for your questions, alright? And then yan, okay, Mr. Cameraman, uh, ready na kami ni uh, Sir Justin? Alright, congratulations and we'll take the photo in 5, 4, 3, 2, Okay, one more. All right. Five, four, three, two. Okay, so we All got, right. uh, okay, we're good, we're good. All right. Maraming salamat ulit, Sir Justin Paul. Yeah. Okay, so yun, no? sana marami kayong natutunan and I'm sure this is very helpful, lalo na dun sa mga merchants or planning to be a seller, an entrepreneur, lalo na ngayon no? uh, to do online payment system. Ganyan na dapat para wala ng cash na, you know, physical cash na ililipat-lipat sa bawat isa. All right. So again, just a few reminders. Uh, mamaya will be... 
picking out no sa ating spin wheel ang lucky winner ng ating special gift boxes courtesy of Coco Plus Aquarian Development Corporation and ng Hinileban Foundation Incorporated and everything green PH and also some reminders no to visit the virtual booths sa virtual www dot virtual national trade fair dot dti dot gov dot ph ayan and you can also visit the facebook page just look for virtual national trade fair ayan may kita nyo dyan and then bisitahan natin yung mga boots at suportahan natin ang ating mga local entrepreneurs alright so next presenter mamaya we'll talk about logistics companies and how they can help msmes but for now We'll come back at exactly 12.30 p.m. All right, see you later.